Hi, welcome to another video. The topic of the video is going to be the latest, newest desktop DWM, which is again a great asset to our collection. It is. It's a bit special, but okay, you'll you'll uh, need to acquire a taste for it, right? <laughs> Just before I started this video, and I want to include this general knowledge as well. This is Plasma, right? So let me open the shop down here. This is Plasma and a user set on Discord. I have issues with uh, the lock screen and so on and so on. Remember, if you run Plasma and updates come in in Plasma, reboot. Reboot and then start working again. So it's definitely not an operating system for any server because you need to reboot. Your applications need to be applied at next boot. So remember that. So I did the same, got strange things. I remembered, ah, Plasma, I need to reboot and everything is fine again. Now, let me show you in detail what you will get. So, Article Linux B DWM. We clone our settings so we don't have to type them over again and then again and again, right? That's just a workflow thing. You can do the same and have a template and then mount the file you get from us, which is in this case still in here. And let's go, go through the details because there is more than just the desktop. Lots of things have happened. Lots. I mean, like never before that many changes to Arch ISO to Calamaris and then of course DWM, a new desktop. You will see that Calamaris has improved considerably, right? Remember, Calamaris is not from us. We endorse it, we help it, we support it, we test it, we beta test for them. They help us. We have a wish list. The wish list goes on, go, goes in, I mean, and it's it's applied. And, and of course, with this kind of support, we are very, very happy. So this is already something to look forward to. This is your DWM. The goal is not to make it um, overcrowded. So we could have added lots of things in here, weather forecasts and whatever things, but we said, okay, let's have it a minimal one, a maintainable one, not breakable one, and let's, let's deliver people something. And then they can experiment with it, right? And if it's broken, they just do ETC scale, remember the, the alias scale, copy paste it over again and build it again because it's kind of special thing. You need to build this desktop. It's strange, right? It's an application. And then um, you're back up and, up and running. So you see some tags up here and you can also open up more uh, terminals, but let's do that later on. So you're helped with a conkey. And if you're living in South America, I would update your Arch Linux mirrors, etc., etc. You know, um, it's only the Arch Linux mirrors. Ours are two of them, and they're just fine. In all the installations we've done lately, we've never run Gpart anymore. So Calamaris just knows what's going on on your hard disk and just cleans everything out and makes its own partitions afterwards. So that's that's great. But nevertheless, it's there for well. If you have very, very special partitions and Calamaris does crash because of it, run Gpart. That's the master to actually clean everything up. Now, running this thing is obviously not going to help a little uh, here because this is a virtual box and virtual box is, is just empty. So unallocated, there's nothing special to mention. All right. We're going to run Calamaris. One of the things we've made is this change here. We see here the, the window and the window says, I'm in a way, <laughs> basically. It's always, mm, depending on the desktop, it's a little bit in the way. So we've added a quit button for you guys because normally you should press super Q or super shift Q. But when you're a beginner in tiling window manager, because this is what uh, this is, what it is, right? You tile your uh, elements over your screen yeah you need to know the keyboard shortcut so quit will help you and 
later can learn all the keyboard shortcuts. It's important to note that we are at 3.2.32.1. Lots, I mean it, I mean lots of our wish list has come through. It's in there, right? It's a free Linux delivery system and it just works and it gets better and better every single time. All right, let's um, show you some more things. I'm not gonna install all these packages. These come all from our uh, GitHub, um, yeah, well, repo. Um, and what we personally do, that's up to you entirely. If we develop or beta test, we need to talk to each other and look something up and compare and stuff like that. So this is what I normally would click. So it's already a reflex for me, but um, well, Let's go on and let's choose our keyboard, Belgian, next. Nothing to do here, but look at this, right? We have been working quite extensively with Adrian de Groot to fix, not to fix, but to make and to make it work properly, the swap to file, which means well, look at the design. It's easy to look at the design. Swap to file, everything is red. This means we'll have a partition here and a partition here. This means we'll have a partition, but you can never hibernate because this is too small. Your memory never can fit in here. And no swap, well, you get it. It's, it's just all red. There is no partition. There's also no swap available. So if you do want to have a swap and no partition, what happens is you'll get a swap file on your root, the really, the slash, the really root, root, right? And it will use the swap to file if needed. At this point in time, it's uh, fixed to 512. So first we cover the basics, does it work? And then we can go over to something graphical and, and let the, the user choose in Calamaris how much. So swap to file is working. Have it a go, have a, have a try. And for the rest, okay, let's go ahead with all the normal general things. Next, next, next. And off it goes. Now look at what's changed. So one of the wish lists is please be more communicative in the text. And secondly, can you make the slider go a little bit more well, coherent with what's going on in the back end because we knew everything was working just fine because we look at the logs and we, we really are looking inside the engine and say so everything is working fine, but the user didn't get that feeling. He more got, he got more the feeling of a hanging system. So Calamaris is now exp explaining or, or showing, look, I'm busy, right? I'm busy, I'm moving files from A to C. So that's a good thing. No, not that it's going any faster. I mean, it just needs to move from A to B and depends on your CPU and your memory and all that. But uh, look at that go and the slider is moving much faster down uh, to the right. All right. This feels like it's really is progressing and not hanging anymore. Now, in the end, so this is what we believe should go on the ISO, right? So applications like Firefox is there already. Uh, we can actually, well, you could go I'm not going there because it's going, look at how it's going wrong. <laughs> you can go uh, at the GitHub of Articlinks B, right? And then you see the package list and you know what's going on there. So that's in here. All the packages that we like and love are in here. Don't like it, build the ISO, right? It's, it's there. Just run a number and edit packages list and Firefox is out of there if you don't want it. Now, what I was going to say is that's the list of packages that we like. So this is a packages list. During Calamaris, you can also select lots more. I almost selected the dev uh, part there, right? 
and it's going to do that here. So here it's going to take also quite a while because this is removing packages from Calamaris. Removing, right? Gone. But if I would have selected more packages, it would hold here as well. Well, it needs to download everything. How fast is your internet? It needs to install everything. How fast is your CPU? So it will, well, hold a little bit here as well. But here too, you will see that the slider will jump uh, more consistently. So that's cool. We are overall, we're super happy. This text is also new, wasn't there in uh, prior versions. So you know the machine is doing something. Wait, right? Creating init RAM file system with make init CPIO. Rather important face in your system. So you need to let that thing do its business. Check out the slash boot and see what's going on there. That's what it's doing. Install bootloader. <laughs> it's equally important, of course. So grub, right? Boom. You can restart. Fine. So shall we? And then in VirtualBox, anyway, I need to select the line three, boot existing OS. Otherwise, you pop out the USB and you boot straight into Arcolex. Let me get rid of, yeah, it's gone. The bar at the bottom. So there we are. A system that's uh, eating up 332, 22 megabytes. Oh, right. So quits out to start. Don't want to see it anymore. Fine. And then quit. And there we are. We kind of want this or don't want this. Super C and that's gone as well. So Control T is going to open up our terminal. We are going for termite, not ST. Termite has beautiful um, logos and, 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 and coloring and, and all that. We've worked so hard to make termite a beautiful terminal to work with, right? F12, it's gonna be there. It's nice, XFC4 terminal. It's gonna be cool to have my F12 in every desktop there is, right? It's fun. The keyboard shortcuts are the same. Control Shift D, we want that we want similarity between our systems firefox launch it so it's it's interesting to invest your time into keyboard shortcuts because they come back and i assure you in a few weeks maybe a month i don't know it's in the fingers the keyboard shortcuts you'll never forget them Control alt v is vivaldi if it is installed right this is an article b for us, that this is the minimal version, right? So just one five, one browser, Firefox, one Vivaldi, Vivaldi, install Vivaldi, but the keyboard shortcut is in there already. Super F5, we love Melt, you know that. Okay, but I did not select it in Calamaris, so it's not installed. You can always install later on, and Super F5 is gonna be there to help you again to compare. So in the meantime, you see also what's gonna happen to our system. This is always the main um, window, the, the master window, let's say, and those will become slaves, right? So when Control T again is going to make the focus is always going to be here to the left. This is the thing you want to do and the rest, well, they, they just have to skip and, and, and wait for your attention, right? The super Q again is going to kill things or the shift, a super shift Q is going to kill things. And, um, well, there are other, other things, um, like for instance, one of the things I'm not gonna show, will I show? Yeah, I will show it. Look at this here. Well, we're happy that this, this works as well. It's not that easy to have all these sys tree, sys tray icons there. But let's first update, right? I see already something red. Wow, don't like red. Update the system, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. read what's coming in, right? There is something from root from us. Hmm. Okay. Now, if I want to know the difference between what's what I have at the moment and what um, is coming in, I have a trick. 
The trick is knowing your aliases. Oh no. The trick is knowing your aliases, and there are quite a few there. What if I type backup scale? It's going to copy everything in etc scale to a folder, yeah, it's a folder with a date, etc. And you don't see it, it's a dot, so, and not in plain sight. Okay, backup scale. So everything that's now in etc scale is updated, as is backup. If I now update and I do a backup scale again, the result is a four, a before and an after. Simple as that. A before and after can be compared with melt. And then you know exactly what changed in ETC scale. You know exactly what's going to happen if you type scale, which is another alias. All right, so that's in. Let's uh, do let's show you what's happening here so this is scale backup right so up we go no we can't go up backup scale then look what happens to the right aha uh -huh. so before after select both say melt you have the package melt installed you don't want to see what's the same you don't care what's the same you want to see what's different and the only thing we did here seems to be yeah, the queue. I was so fed up with all my problems with QWERTY. When you type up all, the A becomes a Q and etc. So I said, okay, let's add a typo in there, an alias typo. If I type up qual, then it solves. It also means uh, update with the A, all right? That's it. So nothing to worry about if you're missing out. So this is how you can go about uh, making yourself smarter and following what we do. Now, what you should, I'm not gonna explain the technicalities of Arco DWM, but I'm gonna point you to the folder already. The folder, this is the headquarters of Arco DWM. And then if you break it, that's more important because you're gonna break it. We know you're gonna break it, right? Then you know that in etc scale, there is the original. The correct version is gonna be here. And with a scale command, it's gonna be overwritten. Your, your rubbish configura configuration and your attempt is going to be overwritten and you can rebuild and start again. And all right, have another try. It's not gonna be easy. So the thing is that this particular desktop, and you can look up uh, suckless.org, I think it's uh, the URL. Yeah, strange name. Uh, you can look up what's, what's more information they tell you. But basically, we need to build this thing. And building, let me say that as the last thing, is sudo make clean install. If you remember that, four word, words, oula, four words, and then whatever you've changed, I didn't change anything, so nothing's gonna happen. It's exactly the same as the one from Arc Linux, right? So I'm good, but um, it's about changing parts in your config H and maybe others as well, What you, whatever you wanna patch, because that's a, a word you'll read a lot on the suckless.org website. You need to change actually whatever it's in here with a proper tool. I don't know if you like Vim, uh, be my guest to use it, but I'd rather like to install later on maybe at them and Sublime Text and an editor, right? To change the code and experiment with it. All right, this um, concludes our video. I, oh yeah, true, 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 true. Well, I will not say it in the video, but click here with the left button middle button and the right button and then surprises come up all right cheers